Hello and welcome to this MAMP Pro 5 screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about snapshots. Okay, so snapshots are basically a quick way to save the state of your website. Uh, basically all your host files and a copy of the database. Uh, what I have here is a simple Drupal site, which I just installed. And um, I just want to save a copy of it uh, and then possibly in a work environment, uh, make some changes, see if the changes work. If they don't, I can always restore my previous state. Okay, so up here, uh, there's a create and restore button. These are the snapshots. If you just press uh, click on create, uh, you'll notice that it's blue here. What's happening is it's just zipping up my uh, complete document root folder. And it is also uh, making a copy of my database data. It's exporting the database and uh, saving it. So as it, uh, until it's, or uh, while it is blue, the icon, uh, that means the uh, snapshot is active and being created. Um, quickly, if you want to find more detailed information about snapshots, you can find it in our uh, documentation, documentation.mamp.info under snapshots here on the left side. Okay, so the snapshot has been created. Uh, by default, it is all snapshots are saved in your um, username MAMP Pro snapshots. And this was my Drupal site. And here is the file. So it's a Drupal site uh, and with the date and timestamp here dot snapshot file. So this uh, is the file that I can use to um, uh, as uh, to recover my website if I had made changes and uh, wanted to recover uh, my uh, website before the changes were made. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Uh, I will now go to uh, simulate uh, messing of my website. So here's my users or username websites Drupal site. This is the document root. So I'm just going to go simulate uh, messing everything up. And I just threw everything in the trash there. So now if I go to my uh, Drupal site, yeah, obviously it's not gonna work. Um, so what I can do now, uh, it, with the uh, site active here, just go to restore. And it's gonna ask me what snapshot I want to restore. Well, I only have one version, but maybe you made snapshots every day, every week or whatever. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to restore this version that I just had. And while the screen is blue, uh, it is being restored. So the uh, database is being restored and the host files are being restored. Okay, so it says it's done, or it doesn't say anything, but the icon isn't blue, so it is done. And if I go here, I have my website back. One last note about snapshots is uh, changing the default location of where you save your snapshots, which is really nice because then you can save them on OneDrive or Google Drive or any other host provider and keep all your snapshots in the cloud. Um, if you right click uh, when the host is uh, highlighted, you'll see create snapshot. But if you press the alt button and uh, press um, uh, right click, you will see create snapshot dot dot dot, which is going to allow me to um, choose the location of where I want to um, save the snapshot. Um, this is covered in our documentation here, in documentation.mam.info under Mat Pro Mac snapshots. So I'm going to go ahead and right now um, do that and save the snapshot. So press the Alt button and create a snapshot. The snapshot is being created right now. As you can see, it's blue. This is a Drupal site, which has a database and a document root. So it takes a little bit and it's gonna take a little while before the uh, menu to pop up uh, this menu where you can change the location of where you want to save the snapshot. So here I could save it anywhere I need to. Uh, such as a cloud provider, uh, Google Drive or um, 
uh, OneDrive, Dropbox, well, and any other cloud provider. And that's going to do it for this Scriptmap Pro 5 screencast on snapshots.